But at the least, we can all agree that Connor is in the bit of a crossroads right now because I, he is going to be out for a while. I think he still he has two more fights on his UFC contract, I believe. So I think he still at least has one more fight. It won't be for a while. We can agree that Dustin Poirier should and will fight Charles Oliveira for the lightweight title. Um, hopefully later this year, maybe maybe close to like November, maybe December, which would be great. But where should Conor McGregor go from here? It's way too far out, dude. There's no way that you can tell right where, now at this point. What would you like him? No way. Though? Just, just if we could just see into the future, is there? Is there something he's got it? I like mean, he's got to heal up. Is he even gonna come back? Let, okay, all right, so all right. Let's, let's make some assumptions. Game. Let's make some assumptions. Conor McGregor comes back fully healthy, fully recovered from this injury, and he's going to fight at least one more time. What do you see? Do we see the trilogy with Nate Diaz, or do we see a fourth fight with Dustin Poirier? Because Dana White was was definitely suggesting it that. I don't know. I mean, if Dustin wins against Charles Oliveira, he could come back and fight Dustin for the for the belt. But, but that doesn't make sense. though, is a problem. But also, when sense. Does, it, I, but I mean, who else is Connor going to fight? Yeah, it, you know, he could fight RDA because there's beef there. I, and then DC the trilogy the with Nate had doesn't really make with, sense. Yeah, because you know Nate's a welterweight now, so that's kind of off the table unless Connor just wants to do like a Cowboy Cerrone fight. Mm-hmm. Um, Gaethje or Chandler who knows what's going to be up with them they'll probably be fighting each other at some point this year I would imagine they, they should just fight um, the coming event uh, on the Dustin and Oliver card yeah I mean I'd say that those those are the guys that I'd be probably probably the most interested in is like Chandler, Gaethje or an RDA just because of the shit talk yeah do you want Connor to, to at least have one more fight to me it doesn't it, it honestly doesn't matter to me I want I want him to do what he wants to do with so his say, life Co- uh, just talking as a fan if Connor never fights again are you okay with that yeah I'm totally fine with that I think the sport's grown enough to where it can you know they can kind of carry the torch from here because mm-hmm. now we see like Connor isn't elite anymore he's not he's not the best of the best anymore I mean mm-hmm. It didn't look like it in that first round anyway. I mean, who knows? Fight game's crazy. Stuff could have changed very quickly in that yeah. second round. He has moments, but at the same time... It sucks that it got taken away from us and we didn't get to see a definitive, you know, uh, outcome. Is This might be one of the biggest what-ifs in, in MMA yeah. history, you know? What if Karn so, broke his ankle? But at the same time, you, I'm okay with this fight ending the way it did because I thought Dustin was handily won that, that first round. But it's just the first round, though. Yeah, but that's the, the only time, thing is like, you can't you can't base a fight off of just no, one really you, good round. You can't, which is especially tough. with the fighter like Conor McGregor. At the same time, Conor does He's been start wars to, with Diaz with Chad Mendez. I mean, Conor tapers uh, off typically. Dustin sure. normally gets better. You, but it's not definitive. And so, I mean, this is always just going to suck no matter how the hell we want to talk about this. You know. Yeah, it's just that's all you can say is it just sucks. It's not definitive, and I and and for Dustin to act like it is, kind of shows his true colors. I don't so. know. I don't know if I fault him for that though. He can definitely talk his shit, but I mean, don't act like it wasn't a freak crazy incident. Like you you didn't get the closure that I think that was really but needed. Did Dustin possibly check that kick to cause the break, or at least to help cause it? Who knows? I mean, that's just all speculation. You're saying you saw some stuff. You're thinking maybe if it were, if Dustin did check something to lead to a break, where you, you saw you saw something. I didn't. Elbow. I didn't see anything where it looked like he checked something that would have uh-huh. broke it. I did see where maybe he uh, Conor McGregor hit clipped his elbow mm-hmm. on one of the kicks. Um, there, I'm sure you can find them on YouTube. There's a few slow mo videos going around. I mean, there's probably like um, the the MMA doctor. Or but who knows? Guy. You know, who knows? That's 100% speculation. I'm but, I'm not qualified yeah. to even try to speculate <laughs> on that. And then Coach Kavanaugh was talking about how he had an ankle injury in camp that might have helped lead to this injury. But I, I think at the end of the day, there's just so much stuff that went into this, and it's really. We're never going to get a decisive answer, unfortunately. I guess we're just going to live it, though, and and, and just kind of see how this lightweight division um, 
kind of, kind of goes on and probably goes on very possibly without Conor McGregor. So, man, <sighs> just got to love people while they're still here, I guess, man. Uh, you, you really never know. I guess uh, a great point made by Bilal Muhammad um, over uh, this weekend, too, because he said that that's why Khabib's record of being undefeated is that much crazier and better because there's a lot of ways you can lose a fight, like a freak injury like this, too, and for that to never happen is impressive. And Absolutely. So, God gave some thought to that.